Jeff Jordan. I got I, I got you finally. I, you know, it's your hard man to track down sometimes. Coach, how's everything going so far? Good. Summer camps are going great. Uh, I'm glad my, my son made a decision on where he's going to go to school, and so that kind of frees up a little bit of, I think, my wife and I's worries about, about Bo. He went to verbal er, soon, and, and uh, so we're, we're just happy how everything's going right now. Okay. In March, I interviewed Ben Jordan the third. Jordan to be an All-American at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. It's not going to be for the fourth Jordan. He's going to go to Ohio State. Coach, what are some things that went into the decision-making process for Bo? He's the number one recruit in the country, and in his, you know, and they have him pound for pound. And sometimes he's number one, sometimes he's number two. But he's the number one recruit in the country. What are some things that went into that process, Coach? Well, you know what? I just, I told Bo, I want you to make the decision, Bo. It's where you're going to spend the next five years of your life, and and. Uh, Bo just thought, his whole thought process was, where is Bo Jordan going to fit in the best? Where can Bo Jordan try to reach his goals of being a national champ? And, uh, you know, we've visited a few schools unofficially, and, and uh, it was very difficult uh, between Penn State and Ohio State. Bo really fell in love with, with Cale Sanderson. And, and, of course, David Taylor, a former Graham wrestler, uh, he drilled with Bo his senior year when Bo was an eighth grader. He worked with Bo a lot. And, but it just came down to uh, he just thought Ohio State was the best fit for him. It sounds like it came down to you know the, the final two being you know Penn State and Ohio State. Where was Madison in that? Uh, you know what, uh, Wisconsin's had some changes in the last in the last year, and uh, you know, Bo just it, we're we're happy for Isaac. We're extremely happy for Ben. Wisconsin was very good for for me and for my brother, and uh, but Bo just felt that. Uh, at the end, Ohio State was the best place uh, for Bo Jordan. Do you think the Stevers, you know, they've they've come down to your camps. Do you think the Stevers, seeing how the, the Monroeville three guys, you know, what they did this year, three of them are all Americans. Logan was champ. Do you think that played into his decision a little? Oh yeah, I I, I think Bo, you know, likes it that he's an Ohio guy that he's going to Ohio State. I think a, the the big plus with Ohio State is not only their coaching staff, but their great young team that they have, and. Also, Logan Stever is the, the captain. I mean, Logan Stever is a redshirt freshman. He's the, the captain of Ohio State's team. And, and Logan's always been one of Bo's idols. You know, Hunter's been his friend. Logan's his idol. So, uh, you know, Bo's really happy that he's going to be uh, having a guy like Lo Logan Stever to, to, to lead him in the right direction. How far is Columbus from an hour? Uh, 45 to minutes to an hour to Columbus. How far is Madison, Wisconsin from here? Uh, Madison is... Eight and a half. So now you you know you guys had that long drive. You and your brother, you did it together. It was kind of the bonding experience. I think I've heard some stories, maybe <laughs> going to and from. But him staying close to home. What does that mean to you to be able to go and watch him and, and see all the home duels and be right there within striking distance? If there's something you see on film that you need to help him with. How important is that to you? Oh, uh, to to my wife and I, we're ecstatic that he's going to Ohio State. And again, the distance is. Uh, of course, one hour is much better than eight hours or eight and a half. But we just wanted what what Bo won, you know. And if, and uh, again, it was it was a tough decision for him. And I'm glad that that he's got it done with now. And it was it was Ohio State kind of versus Kale Sanderson, and and uh, he uh, chose Ohio State, and and uh, we're we're really happy. He's ready to to take that next level now, and he's he's wanting to get to college right now. He's still got one more year of high school. Tom Ryan. Kale Sanderson sounds like that's what it came down to. What what qualities did Tom Ryan maybe have over Kale Sanderson? What was what was the the teetering factor for for Bo and you maybe? Uh, again, I think the, the the big factor was that Tom Ryan. I know that that he's going to. Bo says I know that Coach Ryan is going to take care of me. I also know that Coach Sanderson is going to take care of me. But I think that Coach Ryan's like that father figure. Uh, to Bo, that type of deal, and and, uh, and again, it's it's the team. Bo, I mean, Bo really gets along with a lot of the Ohio State wrestlers, and you know, Hunter Steber, Cam Tesari, those type of guys. Bo gets along with, but and he, you know, his hero, his idols, is Logan. You know, Logan Steber is uh, a very big plus for Ohio State. How do you keep Bo interested this year you know it's almost like he wants to skip his senior year forego his senior year and go right into college how do you keep him interested this year well Bo's taking on a lot of responsibility uh, he is helping out with the summer camps and he's uh, helping all the the Graham wrestlers once a week uh, 
Bo and the Graham wrestlers get together, and Bo Bo goes and works with them, and and uh, you know Bo's whole goal is he wants to be a coach uh, down the road, and and uh, he's doing some really good stuff right now with, with my high school team, and I'm really happy with that. But I just got to keep him focused on the on the Ironman, and as, as well as uh, the, the trying to win that four state title. Okay, you are one of the most competitive people I've ever met. Whether it's Tiddlywinks, Uno. I don't know, whatever it may be. You might um, be talking to Coach Lang. <laughs> you're very competitive. Um, do you still, you, you know, you're, you're almost close to 50 years old, Coach. I'm getting close there. Not you're getting yet. close. You're not there yet. But do you still, I mean, Bo's 160, 170 pounds probably. Do you still compete with him a lot? Or, or yeah, are you afraid uh, of getting hurt? Is there any of that in your mind? No, that we, we went about a month ago, and uh, me and Coach Lang was going to tag team him. And Coach Lang had something else to do, so it was just my son and I. And Bo, <laughs> Bo's very heavy-handed extremely heavy-handed and I'm not I wasn't in real good shape at that time it's been a month and a half after wrestling season and and I got really tired in a hurry and Bo uh, was the first time he he beat me and I was very ticked off very ticked off I said wait give me another month I'll get in shape I'll be ready so, so you've been training for it haven't you oh yeah I've been riding the bike mountain bike and we gotta do top and bottom top and bottom I'm okay I can ride him I don't know if I can get away from him but I know I can ride him is Ben, would you say Ben is at the top of the food chain right now? He's just an All-American, 165 pounds. Do you think he's at the top of the food chain, the Jordan food train, chain right now? Uh, I'll tell you, Isaac's a hammer, too. I mean, Ben uh, Ben better get in shape. Uh, ben, and, and, uh, he's working right now, Ben is. So he said he hasn't been working out a lot because he's, he's working a job right now. So I think that Zeke and, and Bo, could they, could they could push Ben to the limit right now. I'm not saying they would beat Ben because Ben's still got I'm um, the oldest I'm still the toughest. That's what Ben would come back with. Are you got anything else for me on uh, on, on Bo's decision? No, we're just happy. You know, it's it's it's. I'm happy that, and I think Ohio State's happy, and and I'm glad that decision's done, and and it's kind of a, a Bo's getting ready to hit a new chapter in his life in a year from now.